Episode 123, and finally, Marto, finally, the magic man, the worldwide, Mr. Marto. It's all about me, Marto. Finally, after 123 episodes, I've finally put a line through the enigma in Tony Oliver, who can't pick his nose, into Taz, the Greek freak, who still Tommy tanks himself up and about, like, oh, the chocolate wheel's still going well. Mate, it's all about me, Marto. There's, you found a good one to follow. Thank you. Um, Marto, welcome, Tazzy. How disappointed are you that I'm winning? No, I think it's absolutely fantastic. I, I've always said that the wheel turns. Oh. Sometimes it turns a little bit, you know, faster than other times. Sometimes it goes slowly. Right. Occasionally it goes backwards. Um, and for you, you know what? It just keeps turning. And all it's doing is just muffling your, your voice out. Blah, 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 blah. Hang on, hang on, I haven't finished yet. Blah, blah. So that's all right. So tonight, I think that I'm going to get the stopwatch out. And I'm actually going to time you. But all said and done, all said and done, well done for coming across to Adelaide, getting the seal of approval. Okay. Yeah. And I didn't need it. Didn't need the seal of approval, but thanks. No, you didn't. And um, well done for taking, I think, eight in the quaddy leg when you only needed to take one. So yeah, well done. Yeah, no. I <laughs> applaud you. I took four and I knew straight away oh, was it four? nugget one. Oh, I should have taken one. But anyway, here he is, the enigma. Everybody wonders what the great man's up to. Tone, what were you doing last night around midnight in Japan? Oh, watching the television. <gasps> the giggle box. What, was on, what was on, Tone? Oh, the qualifiers for the WC. We're not talking about the toilet either. Oh, Jesus, what a unbelievable! Eh? What so a game! What a game! Me and Tone, me and Tone live in Japan, and um, I tell you one thing about the Japanese: um, they're borderline arrogance when it comes to uh, world domination. And don't they love? Don't they, Tommy Tank, like you and Taz, when they get a winner? They're up and about. They're like, look at me, look at me. There's been 17 documentaries today about how this Japanese farmer had a kid who went to Germany to play soccer in Asano. Like, I've, I've, it's just nonstop. You put the TV on and they're just, you and Taz, you know, talking about a $2 winner. It's, it's just <laughs> mental. The Japanese are just completely up and about. Pairs. Marto, Pairs. we're going to talk a little bit at the end, aren't we, mate, about the Marto, old World Cup. But, Pairs. Yes. Pez, you didn't let Tone finish. Oh. Because in amongst the um, viewing of the World Cup replays, that qualifier, because it's prime time, prime, there's adverts. And in amongst those adverts, my understanding is that it was you talking Mm. about your last winner again. Yeah. Is that right? So well, you're there talking about put a line through it mm-hmm. and talking about the great man Pezza yes. and how Pezza is oh, also yeah, in Japan. Yes. So, He's so is that true? Full of himself, isn't he? Was it true? He gets up on that Tucker box when he has a couple of wins. Oh, yeah. The Tucker box. Go, Google you know, that, kids. Oh, and then he dives into the Come toilet. Like Mr. Google Hanks that, kids. The Tucker box. You know. Nice. Yeah, there you go. Oh, he's good. Um, Pezza. No, no. I was trying to teach him a couple of things. Stay away from the hyphenator in Western Australia. Always look for a, 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 a like a country horse in a highway that's paying around 26 to 1. And, right. of course, Adelaide race 6, number 5, and in Carberry we trust. You forgot one other thing. Yep. Always take more than one selection in a quaddy, yeah. even though there's a standout. Yeah. You, you <laughs> forgot that. So and you forgot that one as well. Larry Cassidy race 7 in Brisbane. But um, uh, there's a few little systems. But the great thing is, boys, we're winning, and that's the main thing. That's now, Marto, correct. Great day, Wednesday. You threw out a couple of tips in uh, uh, in Sydney. They both won. I sort of streamlined things a little bit. Um, I thought mm. it was pretty open racing, to be honest. And mm. um, yeah, we went. I went two from two in Sydney, but um, mm. picked a couple for the day. You picked a ten dollar winner on Wednesday. Yeah, man. It's Santa Catwise, one of my old, um, one of my faves, actually. Tazrikens is a ghost, but it's not a ghost. I've actually tipped it on the pickers before for a win. Yeah, I've seen and, it. And, um, geez, I tell you what, Vermentino, Ver- Vermentino, watch this horse. It's a bit like Tony. He's been gelded, but he had a bit of time, a yeah. bit of a spell, and watch him come back all chesty, all peacocky. Geez, he mm-hmm. actually brained him in the, in the uh, sand down on, on Wednesday. 
great yeah. horse. Um, follow, because it'll go through the grades, this prep, uh, no doubt. It's too good for what's running around at the minute. But the great man himself, Tone, Aussie Nugget, second stiff. Last chance. That was it. That was it. Oh. Yeah, oh. professional oh. rides made, professional place, get it, just can't win, always mm. finds trouble or – you know, it just can't get there. You know, it's a gunner, jump. gunner, Missed gunner. Jump, Should have been in the bloody Air Force. You know, mm. it's a gunner. As simple as that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've let it, it go now. Missed the jump. Um, if he caught the jump and went with him, there might be a different yeah. result. No, yeah, it did. Like it jumped Nardo. second last. It jumped last. Yes. You know, you've got yeah. jockeys who are getting paid, <laughs> you know, for do- jobs that they can't do. But it, happens it was a bit so stiff to run times. home. It had to go back to the inside again. Yep. Had to duck back, and um, I suppose we got clear air. Who knows? Um, yes. Pisa, of course, Pontadera, Vroom Vroom, the Vespa. Here he goes, the son of Vespa, uh, the, the birthplace of the Vespa. Pontadera, not a bad horse. One well, love an easy watch when you tip one day. You know, pretty, you know, the two I tipped on Wednesday were pretty easy watches too, Taz. No, Pontadera was a, a, a magnificent uh, watch. Uh, was endorsed by the Chockey Wheel, of course. Right. So yeah. that said yeah. it all. Um, yeah. The two that you tipped on Wednesday were fantastic. They were absolutely rippers. Yeah. But the four after, I mean, but the four after was shit. Um, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. All, we'll 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 be stiff. Stiff. No, no, but that's okay. But that's we'll right. be stiff in honkers, you know? actually. We'll be stiff in honkers. Um, I think the, the, the first one I tipped in honkers wasn't ridden to win. I think it was um, not allowed to win, mm. if you know what I mean. Look like this um, going around. It was backed into 220, Marto, and it just yeah, it, I know, but it wasn't even that wasn't ridden to win at all, so it was a bit weird. Anyway, the Greek freak Taz Typhoon half and he what a tip that was, big boy. Yeah, but stick it in your black book, and um, when it gets the um, right part of the track, bloody oath, mate, you saw it. Do you want me to bring out the um, the, the transcripts from the chat? You were the one that was saying it was on the wrong side. No, so it was on the wrong side. It was. So it he was, just was. he literally just sat up on it, didn't bother, take no harm. Um, I don't know. I reckon wouldn't be surprised if we see it probably in the next uh, seven to ten days, whether they choose to keep it in Victoria or even um, sneak it across the border back over to South Australia because the Gallagatus boys occasionally go over there. And, Marta, you have to but, say your horse. We, we can't say it as good as you. Well, you've left the N off it. It's actually oh. Munhamek. Oh. Munhamek. <laughs> like I said, well, it, one is a brave run, it, but they've found a couple better. No, it's it, was it, was part, you, it was in the wrong part. It was in the wrong part, too. Yeah. It was on the inside. Yeah. And... You could argue that, but I just mm. think it found a couple better on the yeah. day, to be honest. Well, I think de- the... Detonated Jack is the stiffest horse guard around because if that was oh. on where the winner came from. That yeah, from the won. outside. That would have won by yeah, six. Yeah, yeah. Um, didn't know that Jack actually surprised me staying at the same distance. I thought he would be better off going up towards the 2,000 metres. Mm. Um, didn't know that Jack was a surprise run. I thought we'd beat didn't know that Jack home. Mm, no. I'd like if he was in the same part of the track as the winner came from, oh. didn't know that Jack blows him away. Oh, yeah. Wins by six. Yeah. 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 Gone. Mm, gone. It, was running, gone. it was running in Ugg boots. Yeah. You know, the big yeah. gummies and stuff. Compared to the boots. green, um, the razor flash or whatever oh, it was out in the world the outside. Absolutely. Yep. Three out of four legs in the quaddy tone. You're a bit stiff not picking a blue battler in the first leg. They always seem to beat us. <sighs> Don't they just? Mm. Yes. Well, you see, I, I'm in unfamiliar territory. I'm a bit like a, uh, I'm disorientated like a pickpocket in a nudist camp right. because I don't usually kick off. I'm usually, right. I usually come home at yeah. the end. You're usually, usually the wanker, usually that's right. The wanker. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I don't, I'm very nervous. Mm. Aren't we all? Front. Well, well you, you, we've, you've um, got a mm. good opportunity to really kick us off this week, I'd say. Mm. Great opportunity. <laughs> Now, boys, I just want to float one past you. I know Tone likes to talk about turds and Hang on, now. are you going to float one past us? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tone likes, <laughs> likes all those sort of innuendo <laughs> shit jokes. Um, now, what do you think about, you know, we call them the familiar, the Palti Pirates, the peeps. I had an epiphany, Tone. Do you know what an Ooh. epiphany is? Oh, yes, yes. A light yes. bulb moment on Sunday. We're the Palti Army. We put it together. We're the Palmy. There we Who go. doesn't love a palmy? We're like a K-pop it, group. 
But but is it a palmy or a palmer? It's a palmy. Is it? I don't know. Yeah. Palti. Palmy. Yeah. Palmy. Is it? Yeah. But the Palti army. Yeah. Well, we can be the palmy, but it's not a palmy, is it? Is no, it? it's a palmy. So when you... So when you go out, do you have a chicken palmer or a chicken palmy? No, see, in Queensland, we call it a palmy, don't we, tomato? They do, yes. Mm. Sort of like the potato cakes and the potato scallops. Potato cakes and potato yeah. scallops, the old argument. Yeah. What do you think about the palmy, time? That's um, right, yeah. The palty army. That's the, it. There you know what, Easy. Do you know what I like about the palmy? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I reckon that if the last leg of the quaddy is the wanker, maybe the first leg of the quaddy should be the palmy. Mm. Like a little, you know, get a bit of a, yeah. a mo- uh, moist in there, a palmy. But there's so many things like a palmy. There's so many yeah. things like parmesan. Yeah, you know, we go to the pub and get a feed. A palmy, like, you know, a little bit of, you know, hand work there, tone, happy ending type yeah. stuff. It's got so <laughs> many connotations, so many parmesan. Uh, a wrist, there we go. Now, we're, we're going to throw one out in the winter bottom. I know you can't really see the screen because I, I can't. But anyway, Pezza, how can I not tip my favourite horse in the world? Three starts for three wins. My Bella, mate, 51 and a half kilos. The only problem is Carberry can't make the weight, I think, but he usually writes Miss Kentucky anyway. So I think he's had a choice and he can't get down to 51 and a half. Steve Parnham's on. It's a progressive little thing. She doesn't know what she's doing. Why not throw the dart? Love it. When Wait. was the last time a horse won a race like this coming off about, you know, five starts? Do you know? I don't know, there one that you know but I'm sure one of the the Philip, one of the, the 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 pink and the whites would have won one for sure. Like progressive up and about, probably really yeah. recently. Because if it wins this, mm. do you think that maybe Maybe they then end up putting it away in a paddock and no, do they, they bring it to. over here next? Yeah. Do they bring it over here next year? But Marta, yeah. you understand why they're having a crack, surely. Absolutely. I mean, the way she's won the first three starts. It's a million and a half dollar race. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and because because she's a she, you can't send it a Hong Kong. And it's a W it's a it's a WA. It's a WA oh. horse too, Marta. Yeah. So yeah exactly where do you right. run around for a million and a half after your fourth start? Yeah. yeah. You've got to you've got to throw you've got to throw it. Have, yeah. a crack have a throw at the stumps, Tone. Um, Absolutely. I wouldn't be surprised to see her on the East Coast in order. Mm. Tone, you're pretty keen on Massimo, a really honest horse. Uh Brady Parnham, you don't lose anything there. Uh, around three yeah. skins. Good price in in a in a race where like anything could could happen here. You know, I I, I do like some of the other horses, but I don't like the jockeys on them. Well, so you know, like, but I think at a price, it spawns pretty good. Is it you know, mm-hmm. one last start and third mm-hmm. after a spell, wasn't it? So mm-hmm. yeah, one of the Parnums on board. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, why not? Right. Each way bet. Tazzy, Brady, we will let uh, for Morton. He's on fire. The stables on fire. Dr. Morton, don't worry about that. Elite yeah, Street can I'll, run. Elite Street can run, and um, it's been here before, so. It won it two years ago, was placed mm. last year, comes into this second up. Mm. Look, its first up run, you know, probably didn't finish it off as well, but, mm. you know, I, I like to think of it maybe as the, a trial, mm. a trial through a, a race. A fitness so, run. Um, that's, yes, absolutely. So um, I see no reason mm. why, you know, it's a six-year-old, see no re- reason why it can't mm. um, be in amongst it. Mm. Obviously, the trainer sets it. A bit mm. like 11 11, same mm. time, same bat place, bat. same bat channel. Mm. So here we go. Yeah, boy, he just loves popping up and pinching these big races too, mm. doesn't he? Yeah. And the big man, and the big man, Marto, uh, you're calling the Queenslander invader. Uh, I don't mind Rothfire going over. Rob, Robbie Heathcote's just been mm. spruiking it um, all mm. week since he said he's sending it over. He's mm. taken Damien Oliver over there with him. Wow. Um, we'll get him over there with him. And um, it does have a big weight, so I didn't like the opening price. I think he's around the same, the right price now. The five fifty six dollar mark is probably where he's been on. But um, he's gonna he's gonna give all. I mean, mm. after that Mooney Valley run a few starts back, mm. uh, he's definitely back mm. with the right run. As long as Oliver places him right, then um, I think we have every chance. Very excited for the astrologers mm. yes. and my mates who uh, own five and ten percent of it for the Bennett Racing Team. 
great to see the, the professor on two in Pike. Um, must be a, a really big thrill to see the astrologers go over there and not without any chance um, because I probably, when you think about it, it's probably the easiest race uh, astrologers has ran in a while, but it's been running a lot. So not yeah. sure around a bend is the best for the astrologers, but geez, it tries bloody hard. But let's hope my Bella lets down and runs with her ears fricked across the line. Like, what am I doing? Yeah. Mm. What, what barrier is Bella drawn, Pez? No, nah, I think she's in 10. Okay. I mean, because she's sort yeah, of... she's in 10. She'll, but do you reckon she'll settle a bit more forward this time because I think drawing 10... To, yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I'm worried about Carberry because Carberry's rode it in all its trials and he's rode it in its three starts. But obviously, he rides Miss Kentucky always. So. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think you can get to 51. I don't think Carberry's – I don't think he, he's, he's an older jock, as you always know. I don't think yeah. he can get to 51 and a half. So that's why young Steve's on. But, um, yeah, it's great to see her go around, uh, bring a tear to the eye if she wins, I tell you, because I'll be having a crack. I tell um, you what, I reckon get the first four here. Oh. Um, it's it's going to pay. Oof. Like, you know, it's, it's going to pay because there is good value. I mean, what is it? Yeah. Five to one to field, but there's only like three or Red four. Red Cam Man, yeah, they're all there. Red Cam Man, Bolana, Mardo doesn't like Bolana because Jamie Carr's on. So, um, I've got to agree with Mardo there. Oh, uh, he's dear. gone right off the boil. She's one of the horses oh. I like, but uh, she's a uh, the blue battler. In saying that, I think Bolana could run into third or fourth place. Yeah. Oh, I just wouldn't be back in to win. Right. Um, I can't can't win, Mato. I don't think so. No. Ooh. Perfect. Thank you, Omar. Oh, whatever, Saber. <laughs> Thank you. That's it. Thanks, Mato. <laughs> uh, Mato, talk about Mato. Race nine, number one, Bruckner. We're not sure where it's going to run. Is that right, Mato? We are not sure. He's still quite, um, nominated both in Sydney and in mm. race nine in Caulfield in race three. Um, I actually think he's probably a better chance in Caulfield. I think so too. They do stay in Sydney. Um, I'm willing to take the $9 odds about uh, after winning that um, the Hawkesbury trial. That was a ripper. He's been away off the scene for a little over 12 months, yep. uh, had some problems, and they put him in the paddock. They've apparently sorted him out. Ma and Eustace have got him up and going again. And um, I think well, it's at $9 now. You've got 850 posted there. He's gone out again, uh, which probably indicates he might be going to Caulfield. If he does go to Caulfield, I'd still back him there in race three. All right. Rack Thanks, mate. Perfect. Love it. Good job. Um, yep. Your favourite jock on two, Abdullah, Tom? Abdullah uh, Butcher, he can get it right. Yeah, he's mm. all right, Abdullah Butcher. No, I don't know if he's a mind tip in an Abdullah horse. Don't worry about that. Uh, Gold Coast, race six, number five, Shama 10. Taz can't that, pick his nose at the moment, or can he? No, uh, he can. He just he, he, he can pick up, he can pick his nose, and he's oh. picked it this week. Oh. Um, Golan's, oh, Golan's gone three, as you guys know. Golan's probably my favourite Queensland trainer. Yep. Um, look, this horse um, has been at this track twice, won and placed. Jimmy Orman takes the ride. I think it's um, hoof on the till oh. pretty much. I am interested to see, though, whether Amity Girl does get the run here because it's it's a dual nominator in another race as well. But um, really, mm. I just think of the three golden horses, this is the one ready to go. It's got the premier jockey on, mm. um, coming into form, right price. Get on. Psst, hey. don't, don't you get a bit scared when Colin's got three in the race? Yeah, we've <laughs> said that. We have. But and the, the other one. Spado, which one is the chick on? Because the no, chick's the chick, usually the one who wins. The, the, the <laughs> chick's on the top one. Yeah, well, there the, you go. But it's drawn, but it's drawn yeah. fifth. What's it called? I think Doesn't it's called matter. Shamrock. Doesn't Luke. matter. It's drawn, bar- it's drawn barrier 15. And in the, yeah, but hang on. He's got the other chick as well, which is Spado. called Lisa with a Z. How many times do you see the chicks beat the premier jockeys on the golden horse at around double the odds? Many to count, right? Golden just stepped them up. Yep. That's normally that's normally Angela Jones, not this chick. Oh, okay. Well, um, maybe it is Angela good, Jones on the No, Jimmy Orman, me and Tone, we can't we can't find Jimmy Orman at bloody save as I've so he's like Jason uh, Flett. We we can't pick him at the moment at all. The abominable snowman. He's I can't pick Jimmy. I've, like I've, given, I've, I've done murder. I've given up in Brisbane. I've just given up. I'm just out. Done. Same yeah, as sport. This is not Brisbane, no. It's Gold Coast. They race a bit different. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, yeah, they do. Same. 
Wow. Looks like a duck, walks like a duck, quacks like a duck. No, I disagree, mate. Gold Coast is definitely Ram's rights. Really? Farm. Yeah, definitely. Wow, there you go. Tell him. Mm. I reckon I'm in the money. I reckon I'm in the money. Is that third? Oh, I, I, I reckon I'm in the money, but I'll tell you what. Oh, um, bet three, six, five, nine places or whatever you do. No, no, you don't need to. You don't need to bet nine. Just bet six. Um, <laughs> but like but I reckon I'm in the money. How yeah, the way. hell can we win a quaddy? That's my my question to you all. Um, how do we? How do, how we, do we win? win how do we win a quaddy without Ando? Without Loki? Without the captain, without the serial killer, oh, without the chieftain, without I, I the can tango man again, without the chieftain, and of course without my beautiful Ash, and then the security. We had a the job last week. No video. Oh, for rock. So I mean, you're yeah. nine, fourteen, fifteen, and seventeen. Big man, take it away. We're staying at Rose Hill because Tony wants to be there. Yeah, I want to be up there. Up, up, up. Mardo's way up there uh, <clears throat> in Sydney. You don't, in you don't want to be at the, the, the Sound Down Classic at Caulfield? No, there's too no. corrupt. There's too much going on down there. Right. So right. gone up to Sydney. Had enough of uh, Victoria. No tips in Melbourne, Tone? No, uh, no, right. no tips. Right. Yeah, so, um, when you, when, Tone, before you get into your selection, sorry. You know, because you decided this week, as to yes. where we're going. Mm. Yeah, you guys made, made me just oh, yes. yes. Yeah, we did. Well, we made you, but we asked you to at the same mm. time. When you did look, honestly, did you look at the first? Because this is what I would have done. I would have looked at the first leg of both and thought, which one's easier for me? And I would have gone with that. Is that what you did? Because <laughs> that's what I would have done. I'm being honest. Is that what of you did? Of course I did. Oh, perfect. Good man. That's good. I'm glad uh, that you did. I just wanted to hear it. Screams a little bit, me, 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 between Taz and yeah. Tony. Uh, doesn't matter. I'm, I'm doesn't trying matter. to be like that big Tommy Tanker, the, you know, the fat bastard who won't shut up, you know, backs winners every week, you know, the big swinger. Oh. You know, like I'm trying to be like him. I'm trying to get a winner, Taz. Well, I don't you know? personally <laughs> attack you. Why, 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 um, it away. Anyway, Mardo, here we go. 9, 14, 15, 17. Hurry up, Tony. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So no, why That's are they it. trying to That's announce the That's it. That's it. 9, 14, 15, 17. Yeah. That's what yeah, I'm mate. on. That's what I like. Why are they trying to announce the in the quality leg? That's my question to you. <laughs> Sorry? Who? Why are they trying to announce the in the quality leg? Number nine. Number nine? Yes. Uh, Schofield's on it. Oh, there yeah, you go. I'm looking around for the cameras, mate, because that's one of my best each ways for the day on Saturday. Oh, is it? Oh, there we go. There we go. Ooh. Beautiful. I've got a funny feeling we're going to go get this quaddy one out because oh. there's Marto's there. <laughs> you don't want I've out, got... No, you no, that's... I agree with that. I, I, lo I like Alcyone. I mean, I know I'll have one of mine one out. I've got mm. one out for Pesa. I'll probably find I, one out for Willow. I, too, I like anyway. I like you. I like your numbers this week, Tone. In a way, I sort of like Steely. I don't mind um, Arundino, of course, and um, Pale yeah. King's one of my faves. So well done. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's hope I can get us get us away. Yeah. yeah Typically, worry, Taz, Tone picks fucking more than everybody else again. It's all that. Oh, I, I, yeah, again. but hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I took five only because I suspect that Mirror Vision. May be scratched. Um, it's mm. nominated also down at um, at Sandown at Caulfield. Right. So um, <laughs> I've covered my bases. Sandown at Caulfield, I love it. So, <laughs> so realistically, the the four that I would, under normal circumstances, just have would be the four, mm. five, seven, and ten. Yep. Um, I'll put the twelve in, which is Jojo. Jojo just was a man, one of my favourite horses. Yeah, look. Look, its first um, first up run was too too bad to believe. Yes, and um, I, agree. <coughs> I really like it. I think um, it, it never it never got really to well. the outside because you know of no, course it's terrible, it. but it never got to the outside. It never got clear air. So yeah. I think Jojo needs to get to the outside and needs air. So yeah, well they, they reckon it, it never got it. So don't put a line through well, it. 
Pez, the stewards report also said that it was making some irregular noises afterwards. So maybe it choked down. Who knows? Right, who knows? Um, the other one, Cole Crusher, I, I, I remember this horse because mm. when it finds form, it normally <clears throat> holds onto it. Yep. And um, it was a really impressive win last start. King Kiss some didn't get a run in the um, in the gong, which was a little bit of a talking point for the jockey. Uh, I reckon it's a chance, and um, that's it for me. I mean, who's the other one? Time, I'm, time I'm was high. Yeah, war and peace. It's still war and peace, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's all right. Um, I'm done. <laughs> he's got six, eight, 11 and okay. thirteen. I've been tipped into Dragonstone by Taz. He reckons to take one out. Um, well, it was, a, it was a huge run last start, won the race last year, I think. So it's like 11 11. It gets, it, it's cherry ripe at this time. Uh, flew home uh, against all like what the races were sort of running at the time. But in the end of the day, last week at Kembla or um, two weeks ago, I think they were starting to run home by that stage. But anyway, Nam Jetty, uh, Willow, big fan. Willow likes it. It's one of his black bookers. So I was pretty keen that I've got that in. Um, Mr. Mosaic's one of Tone's favourite because over in Japan, when you're watching porn, it's all mosaic out. So Tone's got a great imagination. He's like Walt Disney, so he can he can see behind the mosaic. That's how the great man's got a sixth sense. So, and Mr. Mosaic, really good fresh, really, really, really good fresh. And so I reckon it's um, gonna have a real crack at this. And Sneaky Page, I've thrown it in. It's coming up from Flemington. Um, it was a pretty good run behind. Asfura, and uh, you, you saw how good Asfura was in its last couple of starts. Sneaky Page um, ran well, um, ran home behind it, beaten a, a little bit of a way. But again, you know, there's no um, Asfura in this race. So, um, and I've left out Mardo's Toppy and Bruckner, so hopefully it goes to Melbourne. Um, yeah, that's pretty easy that's race you've got, really. Like oh, easy race. Yeah, you've got an easy race. You had the easy one last week. You still stuck. I did have the easy easy. one last week. You're right. Nugget was nugget. Mm. Just, you know, it's like, oh, hang on, I better throw four in because I don't want to look shit again. Oh. That's all. That's all it is. Oh, I could have went five. Well, you could have, but you're not as smart as me. (laughs) Um, Willow's got three, nine, ten, and 15, and he's got one of Mardo's there in Democracy Manifest, which is a favourite. Yes. So... When you think about this race, how tough is this race? There's a lot backing up yeah. from last week. Yeah. Kepler, like, for example, Mark Schnell and um, Democracy uh, Manifest is a $7 favourite. You know you got value. Uh, he's 3, 9, 10 and 15. He's very keen. Um, he's very keen on the three. But if he had a chance, he would throw in the two as well in Cavalier Charles, yeah. which he said was his next best. Any thoughts? So, hang on. Last- you go, Mato. Sorry. I'm just going to I'm say, gonna say let, let him have it. Let Charles in his leg, to be honest. Let, Pezza, let him have it. Throw it in. Throw it in for him and take my Jojo out. And that way, if we're coming home, he's got five in. What's yeah. that, mate? To Throw it in. Get, get, give, him, give, him, give him the fifth one and so take he, my Jojo out. No, and I'll only have four. In Willow's leg. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Because okay, I, so if you, if you like and subscribe, you'll see the description down below to Facebook, the group, all the numbers will be updated. But it looks like we're going to throw the two in the last leg and get rid of the 12 in Tazis. Yeah. That's yeah. it, because if Mirror Vision gets scratched, mm-hmm. the 12 yeah. will just come back in. Okay. All right. Cool. Make so, Mardo, any thoughts? Sorry. I should have let you have a talk. Yeah, sorry. No, like I said, I like Cavalier Charles in their last leg. Um, what's the other the 15? Uh, 10, 10 and 15, he's got a ton of grit and short shorts. Yeah. One of Tony's shorts, I reckon a red hot chance, and I think it's a little bit over the odds, but Cavalier Not Charles. What am I? Have the odds. No, I mean, you like short shorts, Tony. I do. <laughs> As in, you don't like to wear shorts sense. after you uh, after you're 13 years old, eh? Over in Japan, you know, like oh, we've right. been told. Oh, that's what we've been told, yeah, right. Uh, anyway. True. We're going to throw probably the Cavalier in. We're going to get rid of Jojo, but um, we'll see how we go if uh, Tazzy is missing mirror vision or not. So yeah. um, very exciting. <laughs> Please like, player. subscribe, and check the, for the description to get into the Facebook. Uh, not see nothing there either. Well, Marta, can I ask 
to your last <laughs> question about in the last leg because I, no, I raised no. this last time. I can't. I, can't. No, I just want to ask him. Just fucking hurry up with the about <laughs> Bella, Bella Rouge, He didn't put it in last time mm. and it got scratched. He hasn't put it in again this time. Mm. Does anyone like it or is it just something that just sticks out oh, to me? That's all. Like, like a Bella horse. Does anyone rate right. it in this race or not? Bella Rag didn't show up in uh, my number. No, nah, I didn't. Okay. I don't know. I didn't look. Fair enough. Yeah. And that's all right. I'm, I'm just curious because, you know, when sometimes something catches your eye and you just oh, get yeah. stuck to it, yep. that's no, the only but, one. Right. Bella Rag likes to be forward and she's drawn the car back in barrier 16. So, right. She's got yeah. a bit of work. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah. The great man himself, Tone. Now, as you said, Victorian racing is like full of scoundrels and full of Certainly people who don't give you a run. And um, you, you haven't tipped there for quite a long time, either, hey, before you, you've, you've been. No, no. Um, so, been I'm up glad. There. Uh, so been I up know there. you, you're, you're a man of your word, you know, because you're old as the hills. And and when you say, I'm not going to do something, and you, you never go back on your word. So where are we going this week, big boy? Warfield. There we go. Look at that. But there is a caveat in there. There is a caveat. Oh, caveat. I'm backing up. Caveat. I'm backing up. And this, like, I, I suppose I've got a lot of optimistic bias this week. Craig because, Williams. Oh, yes, yeah. That's what I'm going to say. Yes, I've, uh, I've relied on the biggest criminal that's ever ridden a race horse in, uh, in Australia <laughs> on it <clears throat> in modern day. Yeah. Uh, but, I, you know, it's had three runs in this, this time in. For a couple of placings, and they've, I think they've both been at Caulfield too. And I just think it, it's ready. Uh, and, you know, I'm a believer of the X factor as well. Wallace got three in this. He's got Roots, which, I, which is the shortest of the three. And then what's the other one? Sir La Mer or something like that? No. Sir La, yep. Sir La Mer or something. Like yeah, keep going, keep going, mate. Don't and, stop. Uh, and, and Saigon. So I'm sticking with Saigon. I thought it was a good run last start. And I reckon Craig can get this over the line, uh, number one. At 23 skins, I reckon you're stealing money. Wow. Um, absolutely. Wow. I'm, I'm, and Craig, we trust, unfortunately. Yeah. But Craig, I think you can get it over the line. Stan, she's a back on the inside, right? Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. got a nice draw. Got a nice draw, Mato, drawn in two. Go drawn around her and go past her and then have to do it from the back again. Well, well, that's what it does. It comes from behind, Mato. You know, yeah. but, got, but one Willow, of, we'll got one we, bit of a run. Well, I don't know. Willow, we, Willow will weave some magic. It doesn't have to come off the fence. I mean, we're talking about Sandown at Caulfield. That's right. So that's if, it, if it races like Sandown... At Caulfield, will be right. a chance because they'll yeah. they'll pull out a bit and you'll get yeah. through, and then you sneak through like Vian de Clare. Yeah, mm. that's it. That's right. <laughs> uh, well done, Tone. Like you know, I'm I'm glad that you're not you know you're not putting the the H in hypocrite or you're not you know going back on your word. And it's really good to see that. I'm always know. very fair. Yes, always very fair. Going back to court, yeah. good. Back it up. Well, I reckon. Back it up, Tone. Tone, I was um looking at your um fist, uh, not your fist, is it uh, your titaniums, and mm. I was thinking if I was Tone, what would I be backing? And I honestly thought you were going to go for release the jizz, release the, beans, the jizz again, release the beans. Yeah, because I, I, I thought that. to myself, it, it. Well, I tell you what, I reckon it wins this week. Oh, I was yeah, actually going to do it. it. Probably will. I, I, I was ready to tip it, but then I thought I'm already copping shit. If I tip it, I'm going to be getting a bucket load more shit. So just stay away. Um, Piers is attacking Taz on all fronts this week because you know how good I'm going and how bad he is. So he hasn't thrown in a top weight in in his quaddy leg. And I always think, always put the best horse in. Hashtag Bruckner. Sorry, Marto. Um, but I usually put the best in regardless in my quaddy. Sorry again, Marto Bruckner is probably the best horse in the race. Don't know. Hopefully, it yeah, likely goes to Caulfield. So, yes, hopefully yes. Sunshine Rising is the best horse in this race. Race eight, number one that you'll ever see. This horse has beaten Beauty Generation, Beauty Generation. over a mile, and this is fifteen hundred. It. It's had two jump outs. Have you seen it? 
The yeah. two jump outs were amazing. They're called a different name, Tony. That's how dodgy they are in New South Wales. They've been called it Lawman. Nobody knows that Sunshine Rising was called Lawman in these trials. Well, you do. Because it was actually Lawman before it went to Hong Kong and then it's come back yeah. to Sunshine Rising. But for New South Wales, for some reason, they'll call it Lawman in the trials because it's its old New South Wales. So nobody knows that Lawman is actually Sunshine Rising except me. <laughs> I think the name's just been official. Yeah. But, but Tone, do you understand what I'm saying? I think Tone's, I've, he's lost, I've lost time because he's like, what the fuck's going on about? Tone, it tried for a different name and it was absolutely yes. amazing. Yes, I, can't, I, don't, I, I don't need hearing aids. I understand what, what you're saying. I've got Tone. it completely with Tommy Sherry on it. This, this horse has yeah, been no. off the scene. No, it's my time, Tone. It's been <laughs> off the scene for three years. and it, Three it, it, years. Oh, you know, Three. and its last start at one, it's one only three million bucks. I swear to God, if this comes back any good as an eight year old, nearly nine, nine year old, nearly nine. Here, eight year old there, mate, yep. it's gonna fucking just scream this way. Like, seriously, go one out. I love it. Mike, I love honey. it. Hey. I love it, Pezza. You Thank picked you. a horse that hasn't raced for three years. Yes. It's won, so it's won zero dollars in the last three years, yep. but it's the best horse in this race. Because it hasn't had a race in the last three years. Well, it's the best horse in the race because it's won like the most, money, much money. The most group races and open okay. races and like yep. geez. Oh. Yep. So you, your quaddy is pretty straightforward this week, isn't it? Bloody oath. Your quaddy is this, Lawman. Yeah. Field. Yeah. Dragonstone. <laughs> Bruckner. Bang. And he's bitching about bloody oath because of tips, isn't he? Seven hundred. Oh, oh, no, no, Melbourne. You've tipped Melbourne. But anyway, know, boys, it's been great. Less than no, a minute to go. Quad is in Sydney. Oh, yeah. I talked about what I tip. No, I'm saying. You, you, that's you, interesting. Again, you, you pick something in Melbourne, then you go to the Quad in It's very interesting. <laughs> cryptic. Very cryptic. <laughs> um, all right, boys. Good luck. I uh, thought we were going to have time to talk about the soccer, but we're not. Um, love your work, boys. Um, good luck on Saturday. Good on you guys. Let's all win. Guys. Samut. Yeah. Samut. Gambare, gambare, any home. Good night, mate. See Thank you, guys. See you, boys. We all Thanks. win. Thanks, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, Thanks, guys. See you. Bye-bye.